anything anyone will notice about me is that I love movies. I've been watching movies for a majority of my life, um, as I'm sure a lot of people have, uh, but movies hold a special place in my heart. I remember the first film I ever viewed was, I would say, The Land Before Time, which came out in 1988, I believe, and it was about um, a group of friends, of dinosaur friends, it was a cartoon, um, and they were fleeing to the Great Valley, which was like a heaven, a metaphorical heaven for dinosaurs who were trying to escape a certain area that was being plagued by events um, that were rocking the nation. And the main character's mother dies, so he has to go on this journey alone. Um, but with his mother guiding him in, a, in like that, that kind of sense. Um, but ever since that film, I realized how much of a love I have for dinosaurs. I just found it so fascinating that dinosaurs roam this earth centuries, more than centuries, before humans ever set foot on this earth. And despite the fact that we know things about dinosaurs, we still don't really know about them. No one was alive at that time to view a T-Rex or a Triceratops, to see how they move, how they breathe, how they look. Um, and that just fascinated me. And I remember a couple of years later, I would say around 1999 the year two, or the year 2000, I witnessed Jurassic Park, 1993, by Steven Spielberg, who came to be known as my favorite director of all time. And I viewed that film with wide eyes, and it just blew my mind out of the ballpark. And uh, a couple years later, when I was around, I would say, 12 or 13, I read the book, which was a phenomenal book by Michael Crichton. And I just became fascinated with dinosaurs. And I first saw the show Friends when I was around seven years old, and that was one of the funniest shows to me, still is. But I resonated with Ross Geller, who was a paleontologist, and he was a dinosaur junkie, and every time he, he talked about you know, dinosaurs, I just, I adored the guy. He was, he was truly a very colorful character on that show. Um, and now that I'm 18, um, I have always been waiting for Jurassic World to come out. I remember when Steven Spielberg first introduced in 2011 that they were making it in around three years from then, called Jurassic Park for the Extinction. Um, I was looking at concept art online, viral marketing, rumors, anything you could think of. Um, and I was just waiting for that day when Jurassic World came out. And I would say February of 2015, I said to a couple of my high school friends, hey, we should go as a group and see this film. And they're all like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a huge blockbuster. And normally, I mean, at least in, in my personal experience, I usually go to the movies with friends when like a huge blockbuster movie comes out or a movie that's a sequel to a blockbuster or something like that because, you know, that just adds to all the hype and that makes your movie experience all the more pleasurable. So flash forward to a couple months and, you know, we're all getting hyped up, we're all getting excited, and... We buy the tickets, and come June, we drive there, and it's me and like three or four of the friends. And I remember we purchased the tickets, and the problem was, was that I, me and two other guys purchased our tickets on IMAX. And we, we purchased it ahead of time because the tickets were sold out. But my other friends, um, my other friends had to see it in 2D because they didn't get to the tickets on time. So that bummed me out, and I kept thinking to myself that day that nothing could go wrong. My doing, my first viewing of Jurassic World will be awesome. And I remember I was standing in line to the IMAX, and I was getting so freaking excited to see this film. And I was with my friend who was holding his popcorn right here in the soda machine, like that. And I was in front of him, and I was so excited to see this film. And I heard someone say that this film was just like Jurassic Park 3. And if you've seen Jurassic Park 3, it's not the best film in the world. It's still a relatively good film, but it's not the best compared to the other films. And I turned around to my friend, and I said, if this turns out to be Jurassic Park 3, but doing this, I forgot that he had his popcorn and soda like this. I hit both of his hands. And they both moved, and the type of trajectory that they took went like that. I didn't know that there was, I would say, a five-year-old kid right next to him 
who was so freaking excited to see this film. And the type of traje trajectory lined up with his face. The popcorn went on his head, and right next to him, he had a younger sister. The soda went on her head. And that was my first viewing of Jurassic World, and something I will definitely never forget. And uh, it was just <laughs> my bad luck on one of my most memorable days of my life.